In this video, I'm going to be ranking the top 10 best diamond cards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, let me know in the comment section down below who are some of your guys' favorite diamond cards in my team right now, and let me know what you guys would change about my top 10 as well. But in my number 10 spot is going to be Diamond Jonathan Isaac. He's a power forward, small forward, 6 foot 11 with a 7 foot 2 wingspan. He's going to be a really good defender, 93 block, 89 steel, 92 lateral quickness, with also having 88 perimeter and 88 interior defense. So all around going to be an amazing defender. And then offensively, not going to be anything too crazy but he can definitely knock down threes at a decently high level he's got some good gold shooting badges catch and shoot claymore corner specialist green machine guard up and then obviously can have some really good hall of fame and gold defensive badges so jonathan isaac nothing too crazy for a diamond card just going to be a six foot eleven small forward who gives you some really good defense now coming in at my number nine spot is probably going to be a surprise to most people but it's going to be diamond t ross he's a shooting guard small forward six foot seven only does have a six foot seven wingspan but and this card is actually really nice on the offensive end first off he's going to be a really good slasher 97 driving duck 97 vertical he's also decently good at shooting threes 93 three ball 90 mid range he's got hall of fame agent three amped guard up and he's pretty much got every gold shooting badge in the game i feel like this is honestly one of the most underrated diamond cards in my team right now he's also got hall of fame limitless takeoff posterizer so he's going to be dunking on everybody he's got a good jump shot he's got a really good dribble style as well it's not the mj dribble style but Trey Young dribble style is still pretty good and very good for a six foot seven shooting guard. So he's going to be great offensively. Yes, defensively, he's not going to be anything too crazy. And you could say definitely a liability on the defensive end. But offensively, he's going to be an absolute bucket. And I think the ninth best diamond card. And then coming in at my number eight spot is going to be Diamond Rudy Gay. He's a small forward power forward, six foot eight with a seven foot three wingspan. I mean, we all know why Rudy Gay is super good. He's going to be an amazing rim runner, 95 driving dog, 95 vertical. He's got Hall of Fame fearless finisher limitless takeoff posterizer he can knock down threes at a pretty good level 86 three ball 92 mid-range he's going to be pretty fast for a small forward as well 90 speed 90 acceleration and we all know rudy gay does have a really good jump shot this year and always in my team he always comes with a really good jumper and then he also does uh, also does have the trey young dribble style just like a guy like t raza both their movements going to be really nice i just think rudy gay going to be a tiny bit better on the defensive end but coming in and uh, coming in on my number seven spot is going to be diamond Giannis. i think Giannis and Rudy Gay is definitely a close debate but I do think Giannis is a tiny bit better he's a power forward center six foot eleven with a seven foot four wingspan I mean, you take a look at these stats, they are very, very well rounded, especially on the defensive end. 85 block, 85 steel, 89 lateral quickness, 88 perimeter, 88 interior defense. He's going to be pretty fast. 89 speed, 89 acceleration. He's obviously going to be amazing at going to the basket. 90 driving dunk, 80 standing dunk, with also an 80 vertical as well. I mean, you guys know if, if, if you've been playing my team for the past couple of years and pretty much since 2K19 when Giannis was like really, really good, I mean, Giannis always just has the best animations and is just super good glitchy as well so i mean his stats and badges might not be anything too crazy 71 three ball isn't great but i mean this card's stats and badge i'm sorry this card's animations are just absolutely insane he dunks on everybody gets every defensive animation in the game like he is just really souped even beyond his stats and badges but still a really good overall diamond card and then coming in i'm at number six spot i do think mobley is a tiny bit better just because i think he's a little bit more versatile being a really good power forward just like a guy like Giannis, but he can also play the the center position at a very high level he's some foot with a seven foot four wingspan and just like Giannis, he's going to give you some amazing all around defense probably even a better defender than Giannis. he's got a 92 block 92 interior defense 84 steel 86 lateral quickness with an 86 perimeter as well so great all around defender he can knock down threes he's decently fast i will say Giannis is more athletic and Giannis probably is better on the offensive end but i do think mobley is better on defense and like i said he can also play the center position as well but evan mobley a really good diamond card gonna come in at my number six spot halfway into my list here guys at my number five spot though is gonna be the diamond stefan marbury he is basically just pink diamond gary payton but a tiny bit worse he's a point guard shooting guard six foot three with a six foot four ring span i mean you take a look at these stats especially on the defensive end that's where he's gonna be one of the best diamond point guards in the game is because of his defense he's got a nine steel 95 ladder quickness 95 perimeter with also having an 81 interior defense as well so great all-around defender has hall of fame challenger glove and then he's going to be super fast as well 95 speed 95 acceleration and he also does have a 92 ball handle and a 95 speed with ball and he does come equipped with two of the best hall of fame badges in the game claim breaker and quick first step i mean those are two really key badges to have on any point guard in my team not even necessarily just for diamond cards or you know kind of more of on the budget side any point guards in the game 
gotta have hall of fame quick first step and claim breaker to be some of the best point guards in the game but overall marbury gonna be my fifth best diamond card and then coming in at my number four spot it's just gonna be a better version of Giannis, and that is gonna be diamond throw bailey i think diamond throw bailey is better than a guy like diamond Giannis, but it's kind of the budget version of pink diamond Giannis. he's a power forward small forward six foot eleven with a seven foot wingspan I mean, right off the rip, we can just take a look at the stats, and it's going to be super well-rounded stats-wise. Basically, he's got not the same animations as a guy like Giannis, but the reason why everyone calls him the budget Giannis is because they both have the same type of player build, and they both get really good animations on the offensive and defensive end. So once again, his stats and badges, I will say, aren't anything too crazy. I mean, he does have Hall of Fame Clan Breaker and Quick First Step, which is insane for a 6'11 small forward, but besides that, I mean, the card on paper doesn't look to be anything too crazy. I will say, though, he he does have a really good jump shot this Romeo Langford base it's on some really good you know cards as well including Rex Chapman Mike Miller Sean Kemp so he's, it's a really good jump shot because we all know Mike Miller and Rex Chapman have really good releases so overall throw Bailey can do everything at a very high level but mainly just going to be a really good defender and obviously good at going to the basket but breaking into my top three here for the diamond cards it uh coming in at the number three spot is going to be diamond Kristaps he's a center seven foot three with a seven foot six wingspan and this dude is absolutely insane for a center card he's got a 93 ball 90 mid range he's got one of the best big man jump shots in the game right now maybe even the best and he also does have four really good hall of fame shooting badges including catch and shoot corner specialist dead eye and limitless range as well yes i know he's not the best defender and he's definitely not the fastest but he's got a really good player model he's seven foot three so he plays way better defense than these stats and badges do show he can knock down threes at a very high level and overall in my opinion is the third best diamond card and then coming in at my number two spot i do think number two and number Number one are very very close and could really go which whatever way you want to but for me i got shade the number two spot he's going to be a point guard shooting guard six foot six with a six foot eleven wingspan and i do think shay is the second best point guard in the game obviously there's some really good point guards that you could debate are better than shade but for my in my opinion I think Penny Hardaway is the best point guard in the game and then followed up by uh, Diamond Shea. There's obviously, you know, Magic, Donovan Mitchell, Lonzo, LaMelo. I'm probably missing some point guards. Gary Payton, Westbrook. Like, there's some really good point guards in my team this year, but I do think Shea is the second best in the game. Stats-wise, he's going to be really good offensively. 85 three ball, 90 mid-range. He's pretty fast. 92 speed, 92 acceleration. Good at going to the basket. And he does have Hall of Fame clamp breaker and quick first step as well. So two really important badges to have on your point guard. And then jump shot-wise, he does have his jump on quick timing and the best dribble style in the game the mj dribble style so i mean shea can knock down threes at a very high level his movement's good and he's going to be a pretty solid defender as well being six foot six at the point guard position but for me i believe the best diamond card in the game is going to be diamond luol dang he's a small forward shooting guard six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan so right off the rip there a six foot nine shooting guard is amazing height and wingspan for the shooting guard position he's going to be a great all-around defender 96 steel 96 lateral quickness with a 95 perimeter and then he also does have 88 block and an 88 in tier defense i mean this card defensively one of the best diamond cards in the game for defense and then offensively he's got a 93 ball 90 mid range he's got some really good shooting badges hall of fame catch and shoot goal blinders claymore corner specialist dead eye green machine limitless range and then even playmaking wise he's got gold clamp breaker quick first step which is super nice to have on a six foot nine shooting guard and then he also does have hall of fame menace glove clamps and challenger as well so i mean this card stats and badges wise is absolutely insane and then the crazy thing is when you come to the animation screen he's got the donovan mitchell base which i believe is a really good base this year obviously if you've if you've used this donovan mitchell card either the opal or the diamond you will know he's got a great jump shot and it's going to be on quick timing as well and then that's not even the craziest thing he's got some amazing dribble six mj dribble style donovan mitchell size up and the kd escape so basically he's going to be a six foot nine donovan mitchell at least how he feels on the offensive end with his animations right jump shot and dribble six as well like he honestly moves just as good as a guy like d mitch or maybe even a little bit better and then obviously he's a six foot nine shooting guard with these defensive stats and badges i mean this card is easily a top three top two diamond card in the game but in my opinion i believe he is the best but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my top 10 diamond cards and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace